Welcome to Enox Engineering, I'm Alan. In today's video I'm looking at planning and making a small cover for the cross slide oiler that I made in the last video. We look at how to design the part, how to manufacture the part, why is it made of steel and then why couldn't I have printed it out on a 3D printer. Now one of the reasons is I want it made of steel because I want to use a magnet to remove it. We'll also look at parting off and sharpening the parting off tool. So let's go into the workshop and see how we do it. Here's the lathe all reassembled and I've touched up some of the paintwork so it looks a bit better. So in the last video we machined out this rub screw, put a hole through that leads into the bronze nut on this slide. So if I put oil in there, it will go straight into the thread in the nut. But now I want to stop any bits of swarf entering the rub screw and getting into the nut. So I'm going to make a little cover for this. The cover, I'm making it out of steel. So I can use a magnet to remove it and we'll have to plan how we're going to do this. We need to have a hexagon, I think it's about 532, on the end of a bar and this will be a diameter So this hexagon can fit into the end of the grub screw and the diameter will cover the area. If we look at the side view, we've got the diameter, a hexagon, that length would be about 5 millimetres. The diameter on this end needs to be about 16 millimetres so it covers the end of the bronze nut. Okay, so we need a piece of steel, at least 16 mil diameter, and we're going to machine a 532 hexagon on the end, which is 5 millimetres long. But the easiest way to do this is to turn the hexagon down first and the 16mm and leave this connected to the bar so I can then part it off here later. I found this small scrap of steel. That should be enough to make the part I need. Let's put that in the chuck. Set my tool. Switch the lathe on. First of all, I want to face off the piece of steel. Now I need to turn that down to a depth of 5 millimetres.
16 millimeters. So I'll leave that at that. I'll just face this off. And that's ready to have the hexagon machined. That's the part that we machine in the lathe. I've actually reduced the OD of that on the back here to fit this collet, which is a three quarter inch collet. And the collet's held in the, the milling machine vise. And this time I'm holding it on the flat on this hexagon collet block. Just put a parallel strip on the on the vise so that the the nut on the back touches the jaw. Now I can tighten that up. And when I loosen it and move it round, I just make sure that the nut on the back touches the jaw each time. This is a um, 12 millimeter end mill. Let's tighten this collet up. Turn the tool so that the cutting edge lines up with the face. Then just move this in till it touches the face and zero my axis. Move the tool down to just touch the part. Taking a seventh thou cut. And it's also taking a small amount off the face. Point one six four. Now I've turned it round to the next face and I'm taking a second cut. Just looking the vice off. Turn it round one. Engage the nut onto the jaw face. Tighten it up, make sure it's down then come back in and keep machining each of the faces until you have the 532 across the flats Now I've gone round once, tried it in the, the cap head and it's a little bit tight so I just want to go around take a thou or two off. There you can see hexagon on the end. The next thing I want to do is just take off the sharp edges and part this off. So back to the lathe. 
I just need to face a little bit off the hexagon that's the screw that it should fit when it goes on it's just about two millimeters too long so I'll face a bit off the end until the screw touches the face Right, that just touches the face there now. So what I need to do is part this off. Come across. Start the motor off. I think I'll just sharpen the tool up. That's the tool and cutter grinder. I'm going to set the table to 6 degrees. I'm holding it against the edge of this, which is square. Let's take the edge off of there. There's no t point in grinding it all the way down, it, it's just the tip that I need to do. See if that's any better. Now as I'm going in, I'm speeding the machine up, which I couldn't do before. As the diameter gets smaller, I speed it up and that way it's keeping the constant cutting pressure into the part. Now before I part it right off, I just want to take the sharp edges off these two. I've changed the tool back to the normal turning tool. Take the edge off again. This is the hole that I'm trying to stop any swarf going down. 
I drilled the grub screw out so I can put oil in there and it will go straight into the nut and this is the part we've just made that should go in there covers there stops any swarf going down now when I want to take that out all I do is take a magnet some magnets on there put it on the top it takes it out that's just a little cover stop swarf going down the hole well that's it for today hope that was interesting hope it was useful and we'll see you next time on Enots Engineering. Music